bottom part of the screen. That's what that's doing. So you take 64 cent minus the 60.8, you come up with 3.2 increase, divided by the 60.5, and you get 5.26%. So that's what happened. Next screen. Huh? All right, this is off the North Carolina State website, Treasurer's website, showing the fund balance available. This is the money that you can have to pay above the required minimum that the state requires you to have. Look at the numbers. We took a dip, but look at this increase. Steadily increasing over our fund but in our fund balance. So what does that tell you? Next screen. This is our revenue stream. Property tax is 48 percent. Then we go to number 23. And a different thing. I'm not going to bore you with that. <coughs> you can go right to the North Carolina's treasurer's site and see these numbers. Next screen. These are our expenditures. School debt, capital, which is again, salaries, wages, operating expenses, and capital outlays. Okay, next one. All right, did anybody read this? Mm -hmm. This was in the Gates County Index. Headlines by Mr. Brown. And this is good. And it's not about growth by five hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars. <coughs> no, that's not all. Next one. All right, this is added an article. The county's gov total governmental funds reported a combined ending fund balance of three point eight six million dollars. That marked an increase of 559,273 from 2010. The fund balance for the general fund is $3.4 million. An increase of 420,280 over the previous fiscal year. The county is available fund balance. Now this is what you can spend above what you're required to have. $2.6 million. The percentage of fund balance across the overall budget is 26%. State statutes require you have a minimum of eight. The county is still with a 64 cent tax rate that was initially lowered in 2009, and it came down now. Because what that's saying is 97 percent versus 64. It didn't really come down. Operates with the total budget a shade of the 13 million, of which 10.59 million is related to the general fund. Okay. This, remember this now too, when you had your property tax valuation assessed, what do you think that does if you go visit your bank? <laughs> it makes your property seem like it's worth a lot more. Yep. You can borrow more money. 20% of $10 million versus 20% of $5 million, you can borrow more money. Why? You probably work more, suppose. Anybody know what happened after the valuation to your property? Drop. Did it go down? <laughs> yeah, go try to sell it today. Tank. For what is it? 